What is up guys today we have another tutorial and this one's on how to do the hyperlapse through a door effect where the door opens at the end of the little hyperlapse segment and then you go into the next hyperlapse. Ben TK does this a lot. It's kind of it's a really cool effect to spam so like you'll go through a bunch of doors and uh, yeah it's cool. I used this in my Cabo video. It was all GoPro footage so it wasn't as nice as I would have liked so this time we used my a7 III. I actually used that clip again in my My Year 2019 video. Check that out if you haven't yet and yeah let's get right into this. First of all, you're going to need a gimbal. Actually, you don't need a gimbal. You can shoot a hyperlapse with photos. You don't know how to shoot a hyperlapse. There are other videos for that. That's not what this is about. You want to start at the end of the hallway and then you just walk straight to the door with the door center frame the entire time. And you want to go all the way until you're right up against the door so the entire frame is out of the actual camera's frame. This is important because you want to actually make the effect seem like you're going through the door. So you, you really want to get up close to it at the end there. And that is it for filming it. Then you bring that clip into After Effects and here we are in After Effects. Here's my clip. I was walking pretty slow because I'm old. The first thing you want to do with that footage, stabilize it just to make it more smooth. So here we go, throw a warp stabilizer on it. Wait like 10 minutes or however long it takes your computer to analyze that. We're gonna fast forward through this, obviously. Four more minutes. You know I game the sauce, I don't need no stylus, little bitch. Side note, if you are just incredibly stable yourself, you might not even need to do this step. But with a long clip like this, it's probably not gonna be like perfectly stable, so this is optional technically. Bands, bands. I smoke cough. Good dough from the West, hurt my chest, got me cough. Alright, that only took a fing decade. First thing we're gonna wanna do is adjust these settings, because we do not want the video to look like whatever the hell this is. So we're gonna switch this down to 25%. That should help get rid of that cropping. And still the auto scale is at 140 percent we don't want it nearly that high that means it's zooming in 140 percent to smooth this out and it's cutting out a lot of the actual information in this shot so let's go down to one percent see if that works out all right 102.8 scale yeah it just smooths out the bumps a little bit that that's all this is really gonna do for this shot at least there so now that it's smoothed out i didn't do a perfect job at keeping the door in the center of the frame Again, this is an optional step. You will more than likely have to do this, but maybe you just have a really steady hand. I don't know, I don't know who you are. So we're going to put a transform on this layer. And what we're going to do is try to make the center of the door, the center of the frame throughout the entire clip. First thing we're gonna have to do is scale in a bit. Let's go to 105. Actually, let's do 110 just in case. We're cutting off a little bit of the sides, but it's all for a good cause. And now we're going to just keyframe the position to make sure the door is in the center of the frame the entire time. Door is in the center. You want this little cross to be in the center of the door and you just wanna go through the clip and continue to center it. Every second I'm going to center it again. Just adjust your position keyframes then go to two seconds. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You just go like every, every second, it should be good because this was a 15 second clip. So we're gonna do this 15 times. This is a rather tedious effect. I will say so. We're gonna fast forward through this part again. You get in my way, I'm gonna feed you to the monster. I'm normal during the day, but at night turn to a monster. This is actually kind of sad because I really did try to keep that f in the middle of the frame, but I guess, I guess I just suck. Blood on the dance floor, the Louis V carpet. And boom. Now it should be in the center of the frame approximately the entire time. And what we're gonna do is smooth out those keyframes. I would just select them all and then hold down control and click. It's going to auto smooth those out. Now we're going to scrub through this and see if it's pretty smooth. Now that the door is pretty much staying in the perfect center throughout the entire time, there's a little bit of camera shake, but that's Honestly, it's just gonna add to the shaky like fastness of it later, so it's perfectly cool. You can go through every single frame and make it perfectly centered, but that's gonna take a really, really long time. So I don't suggest doing that. Pre-compose this clip, name it whatever you want. And then we are going to time stretch it to make it faster, let's say five. Boom, that's your little hyperlapse. That's a bit fast though. I believe I used eight on the actual little edit at the beginning of this video. So there's your 
little hyperlapse into the door. However, the door is never open. Now we just need to animate it with some position and orientation 3D some basic keyframing. Honestly, it's not that difficult. So let's say we go back one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We'll go back 12 frames and then you want to duplicate the layer. This is just how many frames it's it's going to take to open the door. So it'll be a half second for the door to swing open. So now that we have this duplicated layer, I want you to name this door because this is going to just be the door. In order to animate this door, you want to first cut out the door. So draw a mask around the door, just the piece that you want to open up. Boom. Now we want to go in and keyframe that mask. So double tap M, you want to press this little stopwatch so that we can start keyframing the mask. If you right click mask one, you can track the mask automatically with the 3D tracker in After Effects. So we're gonna see if it tracks it pretty well. Sometimes it's it just sucks and misses. It seems like it's doing a pretty good job there. Let's go another frame forward, another frame. It is doing a wonderful job. Let's just do all the frames. Wow, wow, wow. It is doing fantastic. And now it's fucking up. Here, it was still doing fine. It was still cutting out the door that we want. All of this is just dandy. But if you go forward here, it starts messing up. So you just have to manually keyframe that. Just adjust your mask to fit the door for those frames where it starts messing up. You may have to do it entirely manually as well, depending on your clip. Then you bring that over. This is probably the last one. Boom, bring this out here so it's showing the full door. So now you can see if we solo out this layer, it is just the door. So now what you wanna do is toggle switches and modes and make this layer 3D by pressing this little cube. So now that it's a 3D layer, we can rotate it in that direction and animate it so it kind of looks like it is an opening door. We're gonna have to copy and paste this mask, so take mask path. Make sure you're on the first keyframe or else this is going to be pasted in the wrong spot. Select all the mask path. You do that by just clicking mask path. Now control C, bring that down to your bottom layer and copy and paste it there. Now it is doing essentially the same exact thing we did on this top layer, but we want it to do the opposite, so invert it make it inverted. So now this is everything except that space in the door. Then you have to go back one keyframe because it's going to keep subtracting that door out of there. So just move this mask, this subtraction mask, move this mask out of the frame so it's not taking away from the actual clip. So now if we look at this bottom clip, you have the full clip and then the empty door. This is important because the next clip will go under here. So now you take your next hyperlapse because remember this is an effect you want to spam you take your next hyperlapse and just put it underneath there. Boom. That's the transition portion of it. Now, once the door is gone, you're just gonna go straight into the next clip like that. However, we still need the freaking door. We need to animate that thing so that it opens. You take the door, you press R to open up your orientation and rotation. You want to keyframe this by pressing this stopwatch on the first frame. And then on the last frame, you want it to be open all the way. So we're going to make it 270 degrees. Now, what that looks like is crap because we have not animated the position of the door. We have to animate this left side of the door to be attached to the left side of the door frame throughout this entire clip. You have to go through manually and do this for each keyframe. In order to do that, you press P, press the stopwatch to start your keyframes. The way I like to do this is once you have that first keyframe where the door is still closed, I go to the end and then put this where it's supposed to be. So move your position over a bit. The door frame is actually out of the frame there already. And then you have to go back and adjust all these keyframes in between because now it looks like that, which is ridiculous. We're going to adjust this to be attached to this door frame right there. And then we have to move this one again to attach to the door frame. The better you do your mask, the better you animate everything, the better the effect is gonna look. It's not an easy effect, so keep Attaching it to the left side of the door frame. I'm doing this kind of quick, so I apologize if it's not perfect. Now the door should open and stay attached to the door frame. It's still, that frame is not, no, that should not look like that. I feel like this one needs to be moved over a little more to look better. There we go, let's see how that looks. Now we have the door opening. So at the end here, the amount of door that was in the frame of the camera 
got cut off. So there's more door up here and down here that is not showing. One way to deal with that and make it look more realistic is to animate the scale. Press S on your clip, on the door clip. Start animating the scale, unlock the X, Y, and Z for the scale. And then we are going to animate this so it looks taller. So you just increase the Y direction. It's going to look like a funky door now, but it looks better and smoother that way. And nobody's paying that much attention to the doorknob, especially when it's moving this fast. So this is a little liberty you have to take here. Now the edges of the door just don't look realistic. So what we're gonna do to fix that is increase the mask feather. Select your clip, press F. Let's actually start it at five because it's further away and it doesn't need as much of a feather. And then at the end here, it needs more because it should be a little blurrier on the edges. So let's say 15 and yeah, let's say 20. That should do it. That just smooths it out a little bit more. And then again, you're going to have to inspect it and make sure everything looks smooth. Here, it looks like the door is coming up out of the frame a little bit, out of the door frame. So what we're going to do is just move the door down below the, the main clip. That way, it cuts that off. That looks a lot smoother. You can always spend a little more time on that animation and make it look more real, but that's the gist of it. <laughs> Don't forget the more time and effort you put into your position keyframes and animating your masks, the better this effect will look. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I know that's a lot to take in for those of you who are not well versed in After Effects. For those of you who understand After Effects and are pretty well versed in it, this should have made a lot of sense to you guys and it should have been pretty straightforward. In my opinion, it's just a very tedious effect. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hit me up on Instagram, it's at Drew Kosak. Just DM me with any questions you have or any tutorials you wanna see. Make sure you go watch my My Year 2019 video and subscribe to the channel. That's all guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Uh, uh. You know I game the sauce. I don't need no stylus, little bitch, I be sauced up. I'm fresh as fuck on the walk. It won't be your boss, but believe it's gonna cost you. Gas, bags, I smoke.